Patients searching for better outcomes in total and partial knee replacement now have access to advanced procedures at the Bone and Joint Center in Holland, Michigan. The new Mako Robotic Arm Assisted Technology enables Dr. Derek Johnson to pinpoint patient-specific implant insertion to within a half a degree prior to even entering the operating room. We are now using 3D technology with CT imagery, getting a CT of that knee specifically in time and then placing the implants on specifically on the end of the bone, 3D in space prior to even coming to the OR room or the operating room initially. We then place sensors on the knee itself, allowing the robotic system and software to know where the knee is in space. And then we come in with the robotic arm and make these cuts, but it will only allow me to be locked into a haptic where it will not allow me to cut beyond the bony edges of the bone itself, preserving and protecting the soft tissues of the knee. The total knee replacement would cap the end of the bone in all three compartments. The inside, outside, and under the kneecap is all resurfaced with a piece of metal as well as a piece of metal on the shin bone with a piece of plastic in between. Partial knee replacement, patients have to have a well-functioning ACL. Uh, with isolated uh, cartilage loss on just one compartment. Advantage to partial knee replacement is that it saves your ACL and PCL ligaments, a more natural feeling knee overall. Uh, it's a smaller incision and quicker recovery overall with a partial knee replacement surgery. We're seeing patients uh, staying overnight in the hospital, go home the next day. Patients are coming in at two weeks uh, with range of motion that I had not seen before. This will translate to long-term longevity and less wear uh, to allow the implant to last a lot longer in the future. Dr. Johnson is fellowship trained in hip and knee replacements with more than 2,000 procedures to his credit. This experience, together with his MAKO certification, are the assets Dr. Johnson uses to assure anatomical soft tissue balancing of the patient's knees in flexion and extension, and that translates to a more natural outcome. This technology is something that uh, we have more information at guiding me as a surgeon in the soft tissue balancing and the alignment with such accuracy and such objective data that I've never been able to have before. For me as a surgeon to place these implants in with the best accuracy that I know out there makes me leaving the operating room uh, very satisfying to know that I put that patient's knee in the best position that I physically could.